well hello and welcome everybody I am Chirag Pandit and this is my second video tutorial in which I'm gonna be explaining you guys how do you deploy my project onto onto the OSS now the reason behind making my video was I missed a couple of things in my earlier video tutorial which explain couple of how my things worked for the project so in order to deploy the project you should be having a prerequisite applications on your OS the number one being the you should be having Apache Tomcat as your application server and second thing you should be having a MySQL as a database for your backend since my project used MySQL database for the transactions which I have been done doing so uh, let's get started so the first step is to create the MySQL database now how do you create that one well go to the uh, PHP my admin section now uh, if you don't know how do you install PHP my admin just uh, have a reference tutorial and the PHP my admin website or you can have a couple of other videos which have been you uh, rounding on the uh, YouTube as well so uh, just go to the PHP my admin localhost forward slash PHP my admin and enter your username enter your password click go so now my presently my database is already there so I'll be dropping this database entirely so as you can see uh, you can click on the databases uh, right now I am having my database so I am dropping this database so next thing I do not have a database I, so I am doing everything right from scratch so what I have to do is I have to import the dot SQL file now where you would find that SQL file now while you have been downloaded the project you can find the SQL file in the jlibs essentials directory that is the site current bookstores app and forward slash jlibs essentials here is the SQL file which you have to import in your PHP my admin so let's import it L import that SQL file but firstly you have to create a database now so let's create a database give it a name uh, give it a name as Saikiran enterprises and let's create this and we have created a blank database now and now we have to import the dot SQL file inside this database since there are no tables right now here so we have to import now choose the file which is in my desktop that is grid repository inside the grid repository you have that jlibs essentials and this SQL file you can see that the name of this SQL file as well as my database name is same so just import that file and choose a file and press go as you can see all of the tables and I think the values inside the tables are being prefetched from the .sql file so what you have to do now is the second thing which you have to do you have imported the SQL file you have created the MySQL database now you have to create the MySQL user now firstly what you have to do is you press the home tab of the phpMyAdmin go to the privileges section of it the privileges section you can create a, add a new user now right now I'm creating a user that is a dummy user which is uh, and giving it localhost for working it enter a password or generate a password uh, now this is a quite a strong password which PHP my admin gives you so what you have to do is just copy this password and the username is the dummy user and grant all privileges which the user or you can just grant at least these of these privileges which you have to do now I'll tell you the reason behind making this user so just grant all the privileges right now you can edit the user on uh, privileges afterwards just create this user so right now the dummy user already exists so we are not creating the dummy user so as you can see the dummy has been created earlier so I have created the user as you can see that the user has been created I have imported the SQL file now what you have to do is import the Apache Tomcat server in NetBeans if you do not have and now skip this step 
if you do not have uh, if you do have the apache tomcat as your application server so what you have to do is go to the services tab in the server tab right click and add server select apache tomcat and press next the server's location now uh, my server's location is in my desktop is in my git repository and apache tomcat the home you can download this apache tomcat project uh, from the apache tomcat org and and you can just google that uh, apache tomcat all right so this is my root directory of the apache tomcat and which you have to import it in the netbeans give it a username that is a dummy username can be given as and i'm password three give it a password one two three four five six seven eight nine and just finish the steps so you have successfully imported the apache tomcat now what you have to do is just go to the git repository that uh, which you have been downloaded and see the entire jar files what you now what you have to do is the entire repository is been you should be have to add it on your netbeans so let's open this project in your from the git repository you can see that cycron bookstore app is being added and open this project now when you just open this for project for the first time you will be getting a referencing problems as you can see now so how do you resolve these problems S the in order to resolve the problems you have to import all of the jar files which uh, into the uh, the imported project all right so just click on the resolve problems and where you would find that mysql connector it would be inside the same github repository inside the jlibs essentials so jlibs essentials is the most important folder for de uh, deploying the entire application so just click on mysql connector and it will import the remaining java files or jar files so as you can see the entire application has been imported without any referencing problems and any of the red lines so as you can see all the jar files have been imported and successfully created and the second thing which you have to do is now you have to edit all of these values from the source packages the cart source package inside the source package you will find a package of cart and inside the package there are two files there th these two files are db underscore con dot java and db underscore con two dot java now the reason behind making these values changes is you have to specify the database the database name as scikit and enterprises the second thing the username you have to uh, do is uh, provide the username which we have been given earlier right now i know the username as uh, the username is this as well as the password is this give it a password give it a username and give it the name of the database so and you are done and also the same thing which you have to do is in the second file which is db underscore con dot java uh, provide a database name provide a username now the database name uh, comes from the database name comes from the php database here so these are the values so if the database you have given is something like abc so you have to change the values from the database is here as abc and your password and username will change accordingly so right now the entire thing is done and let's run this project Th but before running this project we have to just clean this project uh, in order to just ensure that in non none of the files has been deployed earlier and right click and just run this file as you can see the database and the application server are being ready and the apache tomcat shows up and the entire project has been running up so just wait for a two minutes and you can see that the entire application is running so if you have any doubts feel free to contact me or comment below uh, and thank you for watching